Hi everyone. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. It's just been a very, very hectic week. Um, so, there's good news. Good news. Yes, finally, after all of these videos, there is good news. Um, it looks like, I would say, with about a 90% probability to higher than that, that it's not can that I do not have prostate cancer. So that's good. I'm absolutely relieved. <laughs> it, it, it's hard to express the emotions right now. I've known about it for a day, and I've, I've settled in. But I'm telling you, I am very happy about this news. Uh, the lab results came back, and they think it just came from the urinary tract infection caused by the uh, catheter. So anyways, that's good news. This is wonderful news. And so I share it with you. Praise God, the prayer was answered. Okay? All the, all the people that are praying for me, um, it looks like my follow-up is going to be really not that much. Um, three weeks, I get another blood test. If everything's normal. I'm uh, kicked out the door. So that will be one off of the problem sheet. Um, no prostate problems. Uh, and I'm doing much better with the infection and the antibiotics. Thank you. So, anyways, um, what am I going to talk about today? Well, I'm going to talk about an interesting transformation that happened to me. Um, I, I got tired of myself. <laughs> it's a strange statement, I know. Um, I noticed in the past five months of my experience that the suffering has been a major focus of it. And it, it, that's rightfully so. This is part of the normal grieving process. So there's nothing too surprising about this. But what really kind of uh, interested me and stood out that the Holy Spirit told me was to stop dying. <laughs> Strange statement, I know. Stop dying. I was literally dying while I was still alive. I had already put myself in the grave, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I, I had very little information about my disease other than what I knew and what I could look up. Um, I had no guidance whatsoever medically. It was, it, it was a period that, well, it was challenging. And so I, following my grief pattern, um, put myself in the grave just a little bit too early. Um, I am, I'm still dying, and nothing has changed, except my mindset. I don't want to even entertain it much anymore. Now, that could be pathological as well. So when I look at this, when I say I don't want to entertain it anymore, I'm going to say that it's not a defining characteristic of me, which it has been for the past five months. Um, I have gotten a lot of energy back, which is good. Um, my brain is sadly progressing towards uh, dementia um, and, and having a lot of problems with memory, but that's not going to be a, a Debbie Downer, <laughs> to put it simply. It's not going to be the main focus because God and the Holy Spirit are much stronger than this disease that I have. Many of you have been praying for a miracle. And, you know, I, I sometimes prayed for a miracle too, but I was too busy dying to pray for a miracle, and so now I've switched my thought. Now I've switched my thought into actually praying for a miracle. Um, and things have calmed down. The stress in our house is a lot less. The stress on me is a lot less. Um, I realize that now that I'm done dying in my mental status, um, okay, if you could see the visual behind, just, just come into frame. Sarah's also trying to tell me that one of the other things I'm doing is horseback riding as a therapeutic option. And uh, it really is helpful, by the way. I love horseback riding. Um, so it's getting me out of the house more. I'm out of the house more. I'm actually driving again, praise the Lord. Um, and so everything is now kind of coming to together into a new phase of this, which is gratitude and purpose. Gratitude. I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for all the work that God has done in me and all the work that the Holy Spirit continues to do in me. Um, I mean, I really just, I can't express that gratitude enough. Um, I'm grateful for all of you out there because each and every one of you in your own way, especially when you give me feedback, is supporting my effort to minister. Okay, so you're all co-ministers with me, if you will. Um, 
I forgot what I was going to say. This is happening a lot, by the way. Uh, number three, I think I'm on number three. Um, I got absolutely... <laughs> I've learned to laugh at it now. That's number three. You know what number three is? I'm laughing again. I've learned to laugh. I tell you, I am in the middle of sentences, and the things just pop, disappear from my head. And uh, it's just becoming... It's becoming almost laughable. Um, I absolutely have no idea where I was just going. <laughs> Which, for a college professor who's used to, uh, you know, teaching and talking and for a living, it's, it's, it's rather laughable that I can't do this. So anyways, um, joy. Let's just talk about joy for a minute. That'll be our final closer. Um, I am experiencing joy again. The reason I'm experiencing joy again is because I'm allowing the old man to be really dead. Okay, and not in the process of dying. I mean, I'm going to die twice, all right? I died to my old self, and then I'm going to die physically. Um, I think it was much more important that I died to my old self, if you ask me. And so that death is over. So to put it simply, I'm done dying. My final death will happen whenever it happens. I don't care anymore, okay? I mean, I am going to, and my, my family has dealt with it, we have dealt with it, and so... This is, gives us me an opportunity, more freedom to be joyful in my ministry and to still tackle the subjects of suffering, but to do it in a way that really honors God. And joy, true joy, following in the footsteps of our Lord Jesus, actually living a Christian life, that joy is the right way to do it. And I'm done dying. And that's why this is titled, Done Dying. I still could be gone in two days, two months, two years. It, it's, it's hard to say. But that's not going to be what defines me anymore. It's going to be the joy that I get from my Lord Jesus, from God, and from the Holy Spirit. And I pray that you experience that joy as well. All right, well, God bless you all. I'll try to get my videos out more regularly. Um, it's, it's been a pandemonium, and now things are calming down, so I can take control. Uh, God can take control, not me. I don't want to take control. No, 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 no. Touch. That was... Uh, uh, can, we, can we edit that out? Can we edit that last part out? Okay. All right, yeah, it's not going to be edited out, I know. All right, God bless you all. We'll talk to you later.